Steven Tutorials. I have not seen you guys in about a month and a half, if anyone still even watches this channel. There are a lot of reasons why I left, but I'm not going to hang on that. I just want to tell you what's upcoming, and I have a lot of good stuff for you this month. But first, to start off, there will be around three to two new videos every week. Either me reviewing, unboxing, or anything tech-related on this channel from now on. So that to look forward to. Now moving on to the Angry Birds review for the Mac. As you know, the Mac App Store was released in early January, and with that, a bunch of apps that were previously available on your iPad, iPhone, and iPod Touch were now available on your Mac in sort of a bigger platform. And one of those big apps, one of the first apps that was on the Mac App Store that was a very popular game on the smaller devices, was Angry Birds. Now, uh, it costs the same. It costs 99 cents for the iPhone and iPod, and $4.99 for the iPad and Mac. Is it worth it? It depends. If you're always having if you always have your iPhone, you don't need to buy it for all of your systems, but if you always think you're going to be in different places, it would be a pretty smart move. The bad thing that is you cannot sync up your levels. So if on your like level 15 on one device, you can't sync it up to be level 15 on another device. You have to like start all over. So um, let me get right into it. The Mac, what I thought of it, 499, pretty reasonable. Um basically the same features nothing new that comes along with the Mac version uh, it's just a, on a bigger version it's great uh, if you have an iMac because the uh, magic mouse is really good I'm not gonna say the MacBook Pro doesn't work good because I have tested this app on both computers and it works equally good just a little bit better with the uh, magic mouse and the iMac because it moves around a little more freely and easily um, so that's a tip if you have an iMac and a MacBook Pro definitely go for the iMac and you can have it on both systems. So test it out on the iMac if you like it. Put it on the MacBook Pro. No extra charge. Um, so it comes down to do you want this app, as I've said before, if you have all of them and you always have your phone or whatever device you always have, then don't buy it. It's one of those apps that people just say, oh, I have it, just to have it. Um, so again, get this if you're one of those people that's always moving around and doesn't always have the same devices with them. But if you don't, then... Um, I wouldn't see a point in it. Uh, you could if you want. That's just my opinion. Uh, remember, it is in the Mac App Store for $4.99 under Angry Birds. Remember to subscribe, like this video down there, and I will see you again on Wednesday. Peace off.